Right, so the hook's going, and it's going to this lovely fella, Sean. I'm very happy to have it. We've got some nice plans for it as well. Are you willing to disclose them plans? What, what we're going to do with this is turn it into a mini Scammel Explorer, which I've always wanted a real Scammel Explorer. So we're going to put another axle on the back of it and a wooden bed. Lots of stuff. Lots yes, of stuff. lots of mad stuff. Well, this is going to be its first drive on the motorway. These guys have got about 60 miles to go. And... Oh. <laughs> That's it. It wants us to go. Nice one, man. It couldn't have gone to a better bloke, I can tell you. A fellow Scorpio and the bloke has vision. See you next week. Cheers, yeah. Nice one. You'll be seeing these guys on a later video. Goodbye, there my goes. old friend. Your troubles are now over. Me and my mate are some mad bastards. Look what I just talked to me in Dubai. So lads, welcome to part 16 of the Austin build. Hope you're all good. Thanks to everyone who commented last week. Really appreciated, thanks for the input. What I'm doing this morning is heading out to Indispension, who are a big trailer company. Why I'm here is I don't want to pay 100 quid for Austin 10 brake cables, so I'm gonna have a look and see what these have got. There you go, that's the idea. But I'm going to need a clevis to go on the end. Well, there's two cables on these ends for 50 quid. Who needs Austin gear? In suspension. Hey! Okay, so this is the brake cable I bought up the trailer place. And you see that? It's doing exactly the right idea there, because this will go down and go through there. What I'm going to do is use this original piece, what was on the other cable. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it out and hopefully be able to get a bit of thread on there so this threads onto there. Then I'm going to drill this out so it goes over the top of there. And this connects up like it used to. This bit of brass would be sat round here so it'll look older. Now hold the cable in place and bob your uncle. Right, okay, so I've drilled right the way through there. And now this slots right over here now there's a little piece left in there now i'm going to get pulled to bring a tap home and run that in and then that should sit right into there what this means is if i've ever got to change any brake cables or anyone else who has a motor there they are 20 quid they're about 13 quid on ebay but the nearest i could get to austin 10 ones was about 70 quid to get them reconned and you had to give them the old ones, and the old ones weren't no good anyway, so... No, I like it. I like where it's going. There you go, there's the old frog with his proper windscreen. Oh, I love these windscreens. I think they're so cool. I know exactly what I'm going to do with you, old sausage. I'm going to have to take this off soon. Right, now this other end. First of all, what I'm going to do is make this so it can attach to the frame. I've got this bit of tube, which fits in there just lovely. Fit them now real nice and I can put a little pin in it or something or a little screw on there. But then if I cut this off here, put a slice down here, which would take the bracket, this will stop this moving around. You talk about the country and the boys who work the train. The fellas and the hoppers and the sun and wind and rain. The boys are laying the black for sure, you run to see the belt. Working on the motor highway laying a hot sash belts. When there's boys in Calamar. bench always end up messy like this. Done my round some more job, I just seem to get seem to get gear everywhere. Where does it to the bench? And that one. Okay so there it is. This is the idea. Sits in there quite well. I'm really pleased with these brake cables. They work really nicely. This is probably gonna be slightly different than this, but until I get the rods in and work out how I'm gonna terminate this, I'll just leave it like that. This 
there you go, how cool is that? So I'm gonna get some round bar next week and then I'll be able to make up all the rods and that'll be the brakes pretty much finished. Right, I'm gonna start opening this manifold up a bit. Get these the same size as the supports and then I've got to think about chopping that middle down. Okay, so I've opened this manifold up to suit the head and I've cleaned up the castings because that was pretty rough and it sort of smoothed it out a bit. I'm going to cut this off because I don't like the look of it. It looks too reliant. Okay, so that's about as far as I could get with this manifold. You see, I've cleaned all inside and I've opened these up. The problem with this being shorter and that, I went on the internet and I found this diagram. And what they've done, instead of cutting a big lump out the front, they've drilled a little hole in either side. I don't know how you would drill a hole in there. I've got no clue. So, I'm going to wait until I see Benny next and see what he thinks of that because there's no way I can do that. Tastes like shite. We're off to Deepest Dorset to see a mate of mine who's got a sheet of alley for me. This is the place where all the drop to John stuff's recorded. Hello, mate. All right. Hello, mate. All right. Hello, how are you? 1964 Bedford J2. Blim bus, a little short bus. Look at him, how cute is that? All alley body. Hawks just took the original engine in, which was a, a big heavy straight six. And back at Tom's, we got a sprinter motor to go in this, so we're going to be pulling that up here soon and chucking her in. I've got something for you. Ooh. I don't know if you want it or not. Ooh, look at that. 3.25 mil. 3.25, that is absolutely perfect. Cool. Fair play, Mish. So what do I Give us a cup of coffee, will you? We're, we're done. Are you making a cup of tea then? I am. Good lad. Now, Mark has just given me these two straps for the petrol tank. Well, mate. Cheers, dude. I want to see them on there. They will be. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Good to see you. I'll see you, you soon, yeah? Make it more often and you might find some more stuff. You see. Lovely. Can we go in your garage? We can have a look if you want. I'd love to. Have you got old shit? Mm. Oh, do, you, do you want to go on YouTube tonight? You're not going to believe this. While I was up at Hawkeyes, I got a call from a dude I know who does our metal collection. He comes around and grabs all the scrap and that. A week or so ago, I said to him, I was looking for some aluminium, used aluminium. And he said, he see what he can do. Well, he's just phoned me and he's dropped two sheets of alley rent and it's like 20 quid. So I'm not complaining that that. The only issue with it is he said it's been painted. He said, but it's quite flaky. So cheers, Nick. Nice one, man. I owe you one. <laughs> there you go. There's the alley mate he dropped off. Oh, that paint's all right. It's got a darker green underneath. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, what a turn up for the books. So that means I've got all my alley now. So I've got no excuses but to crack on.
It's going to be a right git to get She was a honky-tonk hooker with the best ass I'd ever seen She stuck out of my bed without a sound Stole my money and my horse and she rolled out of town Cause she's a honky-tonk hooker gonna shoot that dirty dog down You right, Daz? How you doing, Mush? Yeah, I'll come now. See you in a minute. Yeah, bye. Awesome. Get in the alley, car. <laughs> How you doing? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Looks yeah. brand new, doesn't it? She pushed her hands through her hair and a sweet ass in my face. Her honey was sticky and What's she that? smelled just like a peach. Her honey was sticky and she smelled just like a peach. The air attack warning sounds like this. She <laughs> Cheers guys. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Right. Cheers, Rush. Ah, look, black as you're out there. Diesel power. And that saved me loads of work. And it's good to catch up with the boys. Now I need some jigsaw blades. Go. there's the first bit now you see what I'm going to do with these the thicker piece of this will be welded to the outside and that's going to follow that all the way round and then this fin of it is going to go up the inside and follow that round and that will make an eye beam and make this really strong number two She's Let's first look. She's not out of my bed without a sound. Stole my money and my horse, and she rode out of town. Cause she's a honky tonk hooker, gonna shoot that dirty dog down. Cause she's a honky tonk hooker, gonna shoot that dirty dog down. Cause she's a honky tonk hooker, gonna shoot that dirty dog down. Right, so there you are. That'd be the bottom piece and then the battery are sitting here now I've just got to make all of these into I-beams perhaps not the bottom one but definitely these two and then join them all together and then cover it with tin and now for something completely different hello morning so it's Sunday morning and we're going to bag shop breakfast meet
You what, Daz? You what, Daz? How you doing, Mush? Hello? Oh, fucking phone. Sunday morning, and we're going to bag. Oh, for fuck's sake, how hard is it to say bag shot? No brakes at all. Oh, but it hits the floor and it's still rolling. <laughs>